We expected about 175 to 200 cars, but ended up with about 68, and uh, we were just thrilled that that many people showed up in this kind of weather. You know. uh, had some outstanding uh, Corvettes here. We did. We uh, displayed a couple of Z06s, new Z06s. Uh, and uh, we had, uh, I think we had 13 different classes of, of trophies uh, from C1 through the SIC class, which is the, uh, you know, the, the uh, newer edition, Z06s, Callaways, Lincoln Felters. Uh, and um, we, uh, we, like I say, normally we would hand out every trophy. We, we lacked a couple of trophies this year because a couple of classes didn't, didn't fill up. But... Um, <laughs> Always interested in the old models, I guess that'd be the class one. The C1s. We did have one gentleman uh, come this year. Uh, he had a 58 uh, Corvette, uh, Signet Red, beautiful car. And um, normally we would have uh, we would have eight to ten C1s. Uh, this year being with the, the, the weather situation, of course, we just uh, had a lot of people that didn't couldn't make it for one reason. And you can understand... Uh, with the vintage models, even with some of the newer models, uh, people are reluctant to get out, and uh, especially th these uh, these cars ride low to the ground, and you know with water uh, on the on the uh, highways, uh, you know you could run into a situation with uh, hydroplaning. So, uh, but uh, we were very pleased again with the turnout. Uh, have you uh, been a Corvette owner for a long time? I have. I uh, my first vet uh, was about six years ago. I bought a, a, a actually a used 2000. And five C6 and um, was so enthused and thrilled with the new models that came out the the 2014s uh, I went and traded it in and, and, and got a new model and uh, uh, just been thrilled with it the, the car just uh, runs like a dream they're just um, uh, they've re-engineered the newer models the, the stingrays and they just have a, uh, a much better ride you know a lot smoother going down the road you, you didn't get to bring yours, so you're so busy. I didn't. We, we uh, of course, have a registration team, and um, we were uh, we were busy registering people this morning, so I didn't get to bring mine this year. But uh, looking forward to bringing it next year. Seems like we have a vibrant uh, local group uh, here. In we do. We do. We've uh, we're approaching uh, 55 members, I believe now, and it grows every year. Uh, I know the first year that I joined the club, uh, we probably had. Uh, Oh, I would say 12 to 13 cars in the show, second year up to 30, 35, and so on. And, and last year it was around 160, I believe. So it's growing every year. Just been phenomenal. Last year shows when you put good weather with uh, the Corvettes here in town. It's, uh, that's the mix you need. It really is. It, uh, it just uh, it brings people out. And, uh, you know, Corvette uh, folks are... Uh, they love to go to shows, and uh, of course we have a schedule every year that uh, we try to attend eight to ten shows, our own local club. Uh, a lot of the members were in Longview a couple of weeks ago, uh, won several awards. We were in Granbury uh, three or four weeks ago, and um, we've done real well with our club in, in participating. So. But, uh, well, you can't, you can't choose your weather. So uh, but that's a true. Good show, uh, never well, before. you know, next year uh, we, we haven't had this this kind of weather in, in the past, and we're looking forward to next year. Really. Are.